good stuff. Hey, Tori? Tori? Mmm, yum yum. Lunchtime. <laughs> we all need to learn about our past. But some of us just want to forget. Get me out of this yeah, thing. Yeah, we like that smiley face. This is my uncle, Victor Sosi. Ah, oh, boy, boy. <laughs> My uncle Victor's been a barber ever since he followed my dad Carlo to Canada. Victor left Italy many years ago. He's never returned. I love my family. I really care about them. But ever since I moved out for school, it feels like I've been running away from them, from who I am. But you can't run forever. When I grew up, I didn't care about my family's Italian roots. I never even learned to speak Italian. But as I've grown, I've started to become more curious about my family because of my uncle. When I visit my uncle, he tries to teach me all about our family history. But there are some things he just can't say. That's the Cathedral of Milan. A great, the best. And I throw it all. Were you there, or did you get a picture of it, or did you see a painting of it? I got the photo over here from a postcard. When you were painting them, did you have a big, a strong feeling of being back home? I saw uh, that one uh, never die. That I accepted what I am, where I am, but that kind of thing, it will never die. Uh, I'm still, uh, I'm citizen, Canadian citizen, but I'm still immigrant. My, my roots is there. Still remember my home and my dear people whom they are there. And bury and, and, and in life too. My uncle's always lived alone. So when I visit, we get to spend a lot of time together. My uncle shares everything with me. He has helped me out a lot. I thought, for once, maybe I could help him. This following the catch of three Israeli soldiers in uh, that particular region. This building is the bus station in Trieste, Italy. It's the first stop on my trip home to visit my father's hometown. I've always wanted to visit Italy with my uncle but he's never wanted to return home. So when I went on a trip to Europe, I had an idea. If I could find out why he left, maybe I could help him return one day. But before I could even begin my trip, I had a problem. I had no idea where my relatives lived. All I knew was that their town was near Trieste. It wasn't much, but it was the best chance I ever had to meet my family, and more importantly, help my uncle return home. In a boat. The bus was returning to Trieste in a couple of hours. I didn't have much time. We're just in Porek right now. We're going to keep going down to Rovigno, and Rovigno is right in the same area as Sosici. My father would often talk about long, treacherous, winding roads. They would have to negotiate with truckloads of sandstone and limestone that they would use to build uh, different buildings. And that was one of the big reasons he wanted to leave because of the danger involved in it. Looking for people I didn't know in a country I'd never seen when I barely spoke the language started making less and less sense. But the more doubtful I became, I kept going back to one thing, my uncle. I had to try for him. I'm being left behind in, in uh, Sosici. I hope I make it. <laughs> this is the point of the story where things usually turn out really, really good or really, really bad. Let's find out.
The bus was on its way back, and I still hadn't found anyone. Things were looking bad. And then I got some news. I wasn't even in the right town yet. I finally realized I wasn't going to find them. I still had some time left, so I decided to keep looking until the very last second so I wouldn't have any regrets. Before I began the trip, I thought that if I kept looking long enough, I'd eventually find someone. But in a situation like this, when my family could be anywhere in the country, it really was a matter of luck. And sometimes, you get really lucky. Buongiorno. Sei chi sei? Ah, uh, mio, uh, io mi chiamo Dino. Ah, Dino, sì, te ho sulla fotografia a casa mia. Yeah. Uh, tutti, tanti saluti a tutta tua famiglia in Canada, da noi qui in Istria. Dicio, buongiorno. Tanti saluti di nonna Marina da Sossi. We are going to my father's house. Here born uh, your father. Here. My father's born here. Ready. It's my brother. Who needs embarrassing pictures at home when you have them in Italy? They're all, they're in Italy. This is so funny. This is a picture of me when I was in grade two, when I was seven years old. And I am, I am known as number six because I'm sixth of seven kids. Oh, wow. Number five? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's like a uh, hockey team. In a equip, equipo de hockey, the <laughs> yes. I was exhausted, but my real journey hadn't even begun. Tu nome? A nome, Eufemia. Mamma mia, siamo rimasti che non ci aspettavamo a vedere. Figlio di Carlo, siamo rimasti un po'. Se ti piace la natura, Istria. No, è bellissima. Sì, ti piace? Tuo padre, tuo papà, tuo padre o papà si chiamava Carlo. Tutti lo chiamavano Uccio, che significa Carlo, Carluccio, Uccio. Più curto, Uccio. Più in più curto. No. Tu, tu nome, tu nome è qua. Okay. Il mio nome? Yeah, yeah. E, 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 Eufemia, fiamma, 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 femi, femi, fumizza, fumizza. Mi, e, mi nome? È il tuo nome Dino, Dino vero? Dino, Dinuccio. Eh, Dinuccio. <laughs> I spent all my time with my family. They shared everything with me. But it still felt like something was missing. <laughs> what did you like best about it? Harvest time. That was great. Harvest time, producing wine and uh, working with uh, my father and uncles and uh, That was a really happy time. Prosciutto istriano. Vino in botte. Vino. Botte. One, uh, uh, Marcos first cousin, Tony. He was like me. We were like drinking, out and eating. People come out. Tony and, and Victor were sitting down on the table, close to the wine. They were drinking and talking. Oh. Fe lo, lo vino uh, ogni anni? Ogni anno, ogni anno. Every time when I, I got some wine from California, red wine, when I open the butter and put in my uh, glass, the, the aroma come out from the... I never miss, never. When I put uh, my mouth, when if I don't uh, remember uncle, And this time what we was sit down on the table and producing this wine and, and enjoying and drinking. Queste se da, da legno, queste da ferro. That was, that was even a hard time, hard uh, working. 
and not great rich life, but it was rich of love, rich great of uh, friendship, great of the relative. It was like a big tribe family, and you can buy. There is no money on this planet who can buy them anything. You can't. Okay. Mm. Bye. Ciao. <laughs> Marina, mia amica! Chi è mia amica? Io! Ah, sì! Io, Marina! <laughs> Salute! Your father was the first person who put here in Sochi the shorts pants. <laughs> <laughs> Mio padre è campione di shorts. <laughs> Carlo, my grandfather, asks you if you have a girl. <laughs> Ta- dieci. <laughs> Chi è la, la cosa la migliore di abita a Sochi? They have a peace of freedom, a beautiful sea, they, they could lose the houses without keys, uh, beautiful weather, beautiful, uh, very good food for it, yeah, eat, yeah. wine for drink. <laughs> we they live in a very really great friendship all together. Yeah. There are so, so many things because uh, those people want to stay <laughs> here forever. <laughs> I told everyone I was leaving the next day. I'd had a wonderful time. But what my cousin said bothered me. Most of my family did stay here forever, but my uncle left and I still didn't know why. Whenever I tried to bring it up, nobody wanted to speak. And I didn't want to hurt people who treated me so well. But I knew if I didn't find out, my uncle would never return. And if I let my uncle down, my trip would have been a failure. I didn't know what to do. Perché è Carlo è partito a Canada? Eh, chissà, mi ero piccio, non si ricordo perché. Penso per fare un'altra vita più buona che qui. Perché lui era sempre... Non si poteva vivere. Sempre era innamorato de, degli stati che sono forti, che sono ricchi. E poi ha visto che qui non può avere una, 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 come si dice, una, un futuro bello, perché non era, era la miseria, era di, di povertà, vero? E ha visto che non va bene qui e è andato a provare a vedere altre parti. E ha trovato la fortuna, vero? Ma poi la fortuna non è stabile, si cambia. Perché uh, uh, Vittorio, uh, Vittorio è partito? È partito via perché aveva fratelli in Canada. Uh, Carlo, tuo papà, sempre che chiamava che vieni in Canada. Come on back up then. See? Your dad, Carlo, wanted him to come here because his life was getting better. And uh, things were getting kind of desperate in the old country. What memories do you have of the uh, Second World War? What memories? All bad, did you know? My, my poor, uh, my uh, uh, first, second relative, very close relative, 18, didn't make it. That we went through the hell. I have for for more than two hours an SS pointed gun on my chest they to talk me for something wrong and there was nothing for a while. And after that for the communist gun on my head. That was a joke, that was a movie. That is uh, that is the thing. And I, I survived even that. But some went worse, some they are dead. 
my many, many, my, my dear relative friends. And our couple was dumping through the fire. Home burned, and outside was killing. The home is still there, burned. How can, how I can to, to explain five years? So, a lot still forgotten, a lot. Don't like even to talk, I like lots to even remember. Only was lots of pain, crying for many years. And even today, lots to cry. A questo è la stazione di ferrovia dove che eh, partì tuo zio Vittorio. Mi ero piccolo, Io ero piccolo, aveva 13-14 anni. Tutta la famiglia, le famiglie andavano come un processione, andavano eh, per la strada. All day was uh, in home, my poor home, day before, waiting there to, to be with us and to say goodbye. Tutti il villaggio, tutta la gente erano, eh, tutti erano presenti e sono accompagnato, hanno accompagnato loro alla stazione perché aspettare il treno per partire. Piangevano anche mi perché ero piccolo ancora e tanto mi mancava. Alla stazione a Sosici aspettare il treno è andato su, ha salito il treno e ha salutato tutti quanti, tutti solo così. Andava eh, da, eh, la, il treno da Rovigno a Campanaro. E tutti piangevano, era come una grande... Una, un grande dispiacere per tutti perché loro ci hanno lasciati e sono partiti per altro mondo lontano. When, when I left from Sosici, yeah. there was a really sour time that uh, is impossible, never forgotten. They was crying a people, crying and sing. And I was sing and cry. Goodbye forever. Oggi è difficile e domani? Um, um, ai, ai. Molto facile. Molto facile. Uh, e perché? Uh, perché uh, oggi è uh, molto emotivo. E domani sarà un abbraccio, un abbraccio a tutti. Anna, Vittorio, Pierrino, Claudio, tutti, 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 tutti. Uh, no, Paolo? Mamma, mamma, mamma tua, e fratello e sorella, tutti, tutti, tutti. La placa, non piangere, non piangere, no. No, piange. Non sta a piangere. No. Hai paura del viaggio, forse? Ah? Hai paura del viaggio? Uh, no. Io no, no. Uh, Un poco. Uh, Un poco. È venuta ora che bisogna che ti parti. Se non sarò io viva, vieni da loro, loro sono giovani. Puoi venire da un anno, due, tre, puoi venire qui senza riguardo. Sì, sì. Sì, sì. Um, uh, chi, chi, chi è mia amica? Marina. Ah. <ride> no, Grido. Mm. Ah, su. <ride> su, Dino, perché bisogna che ti vadi. Ah. Sì, è buono, sì, dolce. Mm. <ride> um, um, uh, grazie per tutti. Ah. Hai bevuto in una volta? Eh, no, no, no. Ma è dolce, non ti fa male, no? No. Non ti fa male, no? <ride> ti vuole acqua? No, no, no. Acqua? No, no. No. Grazie per tutti, ah. mia amica. Su, su, grazie tanto, su. 
Allora, bisogna, bisogna partire, è venuta l'ora. Vai! Ciao mia famiglia! Saluta Vittorio! Sì. Non piangere, non piangere, no. Non piangere. No, non piangere. Vai! So cute! Vai! Vai, vai! Vai! Vai, vai! Bye. 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 I felt so lucky. They had given me so much. And by leaving, I thought I knew enough to help my uncle return. But before I left, my cousin Roberto revealed something I didn't think I could help my uncle deal with. Nel 1918, dopo la fine della prima guerra mondiale, eh, sono venuti gli, gli italiani. Allora Mussolini ci ha cambiato tutti i cognomi in italiano. Per questo da Soci ci siamo diventati Sossi. E fino alla fine della seconda guerra mondiale è stato così. Poi dopo siamo stati sotto la Jugoslavia e nel 1990 è venuto eh, la Repubblica della Croazia. What do you think about the change from Italy to, Italy to Croatia of Sosici? That, that was historically uh, Venetian, the Roman, the Austrian, the, on the west side and not the other side. There is some people, uh, the origin for uh, uh, Croatian slave, Slav, uh, 500 years. But the, the other one is for 1,000 years. You see, Arena is there for over 2,000 years. That's a Roman job, not uh, Slovene or whatever. Uh, how do you think uh, the change from uh, Italy to Croatia affected Victor? That, Dino, you know, I honestly don't know. I really don't know how it affected him personally. I know he was glad to come here. I know he didn't like it here at first, but after he was here a couple of years, he wouldn't go back. Mm -hmm. I really don't know. You, don't, you never know inside of another person's mind or, or heart, really, how they feel. And how do you think that, that affected him personally? I think he tried harder in this country. I think his heart was always back home with his relatives. Why did you never go back? I told you before. Didn't want to go. Not that they didn't like to see. I like to see even the land from where I was growing. I know the land for producing food, and that I was growing from there. So I love and be love forever and miss and will miss forever. Don't, uh, it's hard to, to travel in and uh, circumstances. The circumstances had changed. My father kept in close contact with his relatives and friends, telling them about his new life. He promised Victor they would return home together when they retired. But sometimes there are promises even brothers can't keep. We was planning, yeah, one time when we retired, that we be going together, visiting. Last month we were together, and we planted that one, and that one. And now you are happy, say, if we don't do, who can do? Never nobody. Next month it was buried. I've tried to understand my uncle's pain, but the pain of leaving home, your country becoming another, friends becoming strangers because of distance and death. A dead brother's promise left unfulfilled. The pain is too strong for me to understand. Never was back for, for many reasons, but that one was a, a one of that. To live in again and live in, in this pain and sorrow. Go away a second time, didn't want to go through that kind of big uh, 
pain again. Living in the memory. The who say that the world it is one big valley of the tear that he know what he's saying. The good time is for sure time. My father got sick and he died in my arm. And so I take care of him and take care of my mother. My brother, two years younger than me, who I was hope and thinking that he would take care of my funeral, no. I did take care of his funeral, take care of all, and left over here alone. That is me. That's my life. The other night, my cousin Franco asked me when Victor would come to visit. And all I could think of in the middle of all this laughter and all these wonderful people is that seeing this is the closest he'll ever come to being back home. There's nothing I can do.